In order to compute the Hamming distance between two numbers, we're going to check every bit position of these numbers to see do the bits match. We're going to count how many times they don't match. So in this most significant bits position, they don't match. In the next bit position, they do match. So we won't count that one. And then we'll count the next one because they don't match. And we'll count the last one, the least significant bit position, because they don't match. So there's three places where the bits don't match. And so the Hamming distance between these two numbers is three. Another way you can think of it is how many bit flips do we need to do to go from the first number to the second number? So starting from the first number, we could flip the first bit. And then we could flip the third bit. And then we could flip the fourth bit. And there was one two, three bit flips required in order to go from this first number to the second number. And so the Hamming distance is three.